Hi, everybody. Uh, we will get started in just a few minutes. Um, as we have people coming on, I'm going to share my screen and get that going. Um, so, here we go. While we get started, going back. Ooh, no. What are you doing? Getting a preview of the slides. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, we've got lots of people joining us now. We'll probably give it maybe. Oh, two or three more minutes. Um, yeah, but maybe, uh, let's see, what's a good question that you can put in the Q&A? Give me a comment of like, what would be your top, okay, this is random, but we're just kind of filling time for the next two or three minutes. What would be your top holiday place? I just got back from Scotland. It was actually quite sunny. Oh, can you make your slides bigger as I struggle to read them? Hmm, I don't know if I can make my slides any bigger. You might need to look, um, whoever just said make your slides bigger, see if you can make this presentation on a full screen and see okay and then i asked a question where do you like to go on holiday portugal you know what i love to go to portugal too we have a great place where we go to near lisbon actually in portugal rome i've never been to rome but i would love to go to rome one of these days when we are uh, traveling and that kind of thing um and able to go to rome i'd like to go there too yeah what i was saying is i just got back from scotland we were up where was that? That was Dundee. Um, yeah, or near Dundee. Oh, on the Isle of Cumbrae. Oh, that sounds exciting. Somebody's in Scotland where she's working. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just love, I mean, I think my, my maiden name is Scottish, Macmillan. And so I think every time I go, I just, even though I've got this American accent, I just feel very connected to Scotland. Um, and we were right on the coast we were actually in Carnoustie, which is near Dundee. So we were right on the coast. We could see the sea from our house and walk to it, and it was lovely. Okay, we've got other answers. Cyprus. Oh, I've never been, but I've always wanted to go. Oh, we've got another Rome. Rome is beautiful. We went for our 20th anniversary in January. Wow, the year that the mountain, the fountains froze. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't think I can make my stuff bigger um because it's full screen so i have made your size bigger genie but i had to move you i want to go to sweden okay yeah hopefully i will be very small like my whole picture and then the slides will be big but tell me when we get started let me know if you can't read the slides Hong Kong. Somebody would love to go to Hong Kong because her family is there. Oh, I understand. My family is in the States and I do miss my family as well. So my parents go to Embo. I've never been to Embo or heard of it. North of Inverness. I've been to Inverness though. Um, they're hoping, yeah, they want to go. Um, oh, I want to go up there. Ooh, Coulerie, is that how you pronounce it? France. That would be another place. Um, Grand Canyons. Ah, yes. I've been many places in America. I have not been to the Grand Canyon yet. So I have been to like Yosemite National Park and other places, but not to the Grand Canyon. And then someone has a question as we're talking. Uh, this has to do with hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, they asked, does it have parabens? Well, hyaluronic acid is actually an ingredient that we have in multiple things, and all of our new products do not have parabens. Um, some of our older 
classic products still do, um, though um, they, you know, they've been changing a few things, but all of our new stuff does not. So hopefully that answers that question. Someone would love to visit Japan. I would love to visit Japan. And then another one, so Kenya. Oh, we've got another Grand Canyon. It's on the bucket list. Skiing in Montana with my cousin. Oh, yes. Well, I grew up, well, I grew up in Alaska, Colorado. My family moved all over, but I went skiing every, well, we lived in near Denver, Colorado. So we would go every weekend, we would go skiing. And so I love skiing. All right, why don't we actually wrap that up and get started? And so, welcome. Let me know if you can't read this, um, take a screenshot or whatever, because there's notes and that kind of thing. But honestly, I'm going to say most of it. So, write it down or whatever. But we are going to be talking about hyaluronic acid. What is hyaluronic acid and why is it the buzzword in the beauty world, but also with us? especially with our new product, um, our hydrating serum. And, uh, but we're gonna talk about several products, products that it's actually in. And, um, and so it's such a key MVP, um, most valuable player type of ingredient. And we're gonna go over why it's so important, what it is, and then what of our products, some of my favorite products actually have it in there. So we're gonna talk about that. So let me just make sure that everybody, if there's any other things I need to, ooh, someone said they want to go see the dolphins in Vanuatu, or Van, can't pronounce that, Vanuatu, Vanuatu, brilliant, love it. So there's so many places, there are so many places I want to go, I think we're all itching, itching, that sounds very Texan right there, itching to go places right now. And um, I was just grateful that we got to go to Scotland for a few weeks because I think we all need holidays, don't we? And so I'm just going through the questions here just to make sure that we get everything. So, all right, without further ado, let us start with the slides. If they will start, yay, come on slides. Okay, here we go, what is, um, going back. What is hyaluronic acid? Now, hopefully you can read this, but if you can, that's okay. I'm going to read it for you. I, I came up with these slides like I did them all, so it's not like I was given something and I'm just reading it. I actually worked with this, and basically hyaluronic acid is actually found in your body naturally. You can also call it HA, HA, um, and it is a magnet for moisture. Really, I want to say hydration because we use these words moisture and hydration interchangeably, but um, really it's hydration. Think water. And um, because I actually think of moisture like lipids, like fats, and you need both. Your body needs both for your skin, for just your cells. Um, but when you think about HA or hyaluronic acid, it is all about hydration and attracting hydration. So it helps your cells retain as much as possible so that you're plump and healthy and hydrated. And I think about, I don't know if you've ever seen, well, a prune versus a plum. If you've ever taken like a prune or a raisin and you've actually hydrated and it's plumped back up, that's kind of how it is when you add you know, hydration um, to something is it's going to plump back up. And that's what we want in our skin as we age because we start to lose that. And I'll show you in a minute. And half of your body is actually, um, well, half of, hang on, there's a question. Oh, I love Forever HA. That wasn't a question. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So half of the hyaluronic acid in your body is actually in your skin, but it's also, I think it's in your eyes and places like that as well, because that's also place, places that you need a lot of hydration. So moving on. So where is it in your skin exactly where half of it is found? Well, we've got two graphs here. This is one I use a lot in my trainings, but one is your younger skin, and then what happens to your skin as it ages. And Right there, you've got your three layers of your skin, your hypodermis, which is the fatty, you know, 
uh, layer than your dermis, which is the middle layer, and the epidermis, which is the top layer. And there's lots of little teeny layers in the midst of all that, but this is the very basic of, of skin science. So in the middle, in your dermis, you've got a lot of different things. You have things like fibroblasts, and these fibroblasts create um, elastin or elastic fiber, but elastin or collagen, those are both proteins. And those are like um, the structure of the skin. I, I like to think of collagen like the scaffolding of the skin and what kind of keeps it together. And elastin or elastic fiber is like a rubber band on this and it's like what helps it snap back. But all surrounding this are these sugar polysaccharides, right? these molecules called hyaluronic acid. And I think we get a little bent out of shape because they use the word acid. And it's, it's uh, not like what you think of when you think of acid. It's like I said, it's a sugar molecule and these sugar molecules attract water and they attract hydration. But if you can look at both things, you can, if you start to look, you'll see there's a breakdown. And as you age, your elastin, your collagen, your hyaluronic acid, your fibroblast activity that creates the elastin and collagen, all that begin to break down as you age. Um, and this is due to normal chronological aging, but it also can be sped up when you have a lot of stressors. And this can be everything from a lot of sun damage to smoke, to stress in general, to lack of sleep, to poor diet. So you can speed up in a not good way your aging process. Um, but you can also slow it down and you can also put the brakes on. And what I love topically about um, hyaluronic acid is that you can apply it. Um, I mean, actually you can, there's a lot of things you can do with hyaluronic acid. I actually use it for voiceovers. I do voiceovers and I actually um, do like a nebulizer and I have special hyaluronic acid because it coats and it hydrates the throat. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot of really amazing things, but what I love about hyaluronic acid is that you can actually topically apply it um, to promote hydration in your own skin. So let's move on. Okay, so um, when hyaluronic acid is topically applied, like we just mentioned, um, there's several things that happen. It helps to hydrate what we we're talking about and maintain hydration. It's called um, what you call a humectant. Aloe is actually a humectant as well. Um, but basically what a humectant is, is a substance used to reduce the loss of moisture. And a humectant is like a sponge. That's really how I like to think of it. It just goes, <laughs> let me get and draw in and soak in hydration. So that's what hyaluronic is. acid is. It's in your skin. Um, it's gonna help have that, that hydration, but as a topical ingredient, it is a humectant and it's going to draw in. And in fact, hyaluronic acid in general holds a thousand times its weight in water. A thousand times its weight in water. Um, and those little sugar molecules to keep the skin hydrated, protect it from environmental damage. So not only does it, you know, have that hydration, but it's also going to protect you as well from those stressors. Um, to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it's critical that you maintain hydration. It really is. I mean, and you know, you know when your skin just feels dry and dehydrated. But what happens is it may not just feel that way, but it's actually doing things to your cells when your skin is dehydrated, when your cells are dehydrated. It's going to start to break down and promote aging, really. Um, like, and as I mentioned before, through UV exposure, through pollution, through um, all kinds of stressors. So let's go on. So who is hyaluronic acid for? Everybody. The reason is, is because it's not an oil. It's not um, a moisturizer. It is hydration. And and I, I, I love to talk about this with my kids. In fact, just a little side note. So I go downstairs a few minutes ago and they're watching a movie. I have two teenagers, 15 and a 17 year old. And when we were on holiday, actually, both my son and my husband fell in love with the biocellulose mask, which has hyaluronic acid. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, 
And I go down there and both my daughter and my son, my teenagers are watching a movie with the masks on, you know, so, and they both have teenage skin, teenage skin, um, which is a lot more oily for many teenagers. And so very interesting because hydration is needed for all skin types and even oily skin can get um, dry patches and get tight. Now you, and you can feel it when it's tight, when it's rough, when it feels red or dull or flaky. Um, and then of course, as you age, your skin gets naturally drier because all these things begin to break down naturally and you begin your body's own process of, of making these things slows down. Um, and then of course, if you've got hormonal fluctuations or stress or pollutions or medications or, you know, even illnesses or whatever, they can promote dry skin as well. So dry skin or dry patches even, um, because if you have oily skin, it tends to be in dry patches, not like all over, um, are concerns for any skin type. So that's what I love about hyaluronic acid is it doesn't matter what skin type you have. Every skin type needs hydration. And you can use it every single day because it doesn't strip the skin. In fact, it just adds to the skin and it delivers gentle hydration where you need it most for when you need it most. I would also say it's best, and, and this is through just research, um, hyaluronic acid is best when you layer it. So when you layer it with more hyaluronic acid, it's best because it's going to really be power packed. And that's what I love about our new hydrating serum is it's got four different types. So you're actually layering in the hyaluronic acid to really promote hydration. So let's go to our next one, which is our, well, no, 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 sorry. Okay, our next one is our products that we're gonna highlight. Now we actually have hyaluronic acid in all of our moisturizers used for the face, um, including like our aloe deep moisturizing, I mean like our old uh, aloe moisturizer that we still are a classic one but also our two new moisturizers. But that's just one of many ingredients and that's combined with a lot of lipids, which are those, um, which like I said, is a moisturizer, which are those fats. These products, however, um, are really focused a lot more on the hyaluronic acid. So we're gonna go through them. We've got our aloe, act oh, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be our toner. That's, that's our toner, not our aloe activator. So disregard that one, toner. Sorry, I came up with these slides, so that would be my fault. Um, so toner, ignore aloe activator because it's not an aloe activator. All right, hydrating serum, our infinite by forever firming serum, and then our aloe bio, biocellulose mask. Okay, let's talk about serums because we have two now, two serums in our skincare. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, because our first serum, is now award-winning um, in our uh, Pure Beauty Awards. It, it won an award. Um, and I really am hoping as we submit, because our hydrating serum is a new product, that this would also get some award. Um, and then if you haven't heard, our biocellulose mask actually just won a very prestigious award. It won a silver in the pure, what, what is that called? The Green Beauty Awards, that's what it was called. The Green Beauty Awards, I think it was up against like 300 worldwide products um, along the same lines and they got a silver, which is really amazing. Um, and it's all about being an eco-friendly product because the uh, biocellulose mask, which is one of my favorite, is a very eco-friendly. But back to serums, um, what is a serum? Because we've got two of them and what are they used for? So let me move my little me up here so we can see this. Um, okay, so what is a serum? Basically, serums are power packed um, with a lot less ingredients, but a lot more of those ingredients. So you have a, like more concentrated, a lot more of just a fewer amount of ingredients to go deeper into the skin. Okay, the other thing is, is that they are smaller molecules, so they can go deep, deep into the skin and deliver this high concentration of active ingredients. 
So it's really good for targeted concerns. And that's why we've got two serums and there's a lot of serums out there on the market and they just all have different roles and different things But it, you know, um, so we've got our two different ones, which we'll talk about in a minute and their differences, but they're all about targeting um, skincare concerns, such as wrinkles and fine lines or dry patches or brightness or skin tone and texture and balanced areas, or even anti-aging, which is um, our firming serum is all about. So our serums, however, have a high amount of aloe. And aloe, of course, with all the wonderful benefits, if you've ever heard me in any of the teachings, I mean, aloe's got amazing benefits, not just drinking it, which I believe also is beneficial to the skin, but also topically aloe, I'm so sold on aloe. Like aloe, and aloe is usually one of the top ingredients in all of our skincare products. Um, but aloe is amazing, you know, it's a humectant as well. It helps to balance the skin. It's an adaptogen. So an adaptogen is a plant that helps uh, whatever it's, you know, helps whatever organ it's placed in or you drink it or take it or whatever to balance itself out, to normalize itself. And so it's an adaptogenic plant and then also has a lot of nutrients. So your skin needs nutrients and that's why we like to apply topically. So it has a high amount of aloe, but this aloe will work in tandem with the serum ingredients to really um, uplift and be synergy for one another. Let me just see, there's a question. Uh, does a humectant only get water from our diet or from elsewhere? Well, humectant is a topical product. So humectant is actually getting the water from, uh, it's drawing water from our topical ingredients. So. Um, and then hydration from our topical ingredients. So that's what a humectant is. This is a topical product that will soak in and draw in hydration as you need it. Okay, so um, anyhow, yeah. And also with the lignin properties, which also aloe has, lignins are what you call carriers and they carry ingredients deeper than what they could go by themselves. So all of our serums have aloe with these lignans. So it's going to take things like peptides or it's going to take things like the hyaluronic acid and it's just going to go deeper into the skin than what those ingredients by themselves could do. So for this reason, it's not meant to be your moisturizer because moisturizers have the fatty acids that your body needs, but the right types of fatty acids for your skin type. And I think when you think about skincare, Moisturizers are where you're going to find the difference in our skincare line. Everything else is pretty darn in interchangeable, just fantastic. But the moisturizers are going to be really for what um, do you have dry skin? Do you have combination skin? Do you have oily skin? Um, do you need more? Do you need less? So, so a serum, however, can be used with both of our serums, at least, can be used for all skin types because they don't have the oils in it. Um, but you need oils and you need the moisturizer. Um, and so a serum is put on before a moisturizer. Okay, let's see. Any other? All right, fantastic. Let's go on to our next one. Okay, so first product, one of my favorites. I use this every single day, twice a day, actually is a firming serum and it is fantastic. Like I said, it's an award-winning serum. And I think that's something to remember whenever you talk about it, to say it's an award-winning serum because that was a hard award to get. And it just shows you the premium type of, of product that this is. So here's a couple of things about this serum. Um, one is it's got peptides in it. Our, patented peptides. What are peptides? Peptides are actually found naturally in the skin as well. They go along with basically collagen, what I talked about earlier. When collagen breaks down, uh, it's a protein, and when it breaks down, it turns into peptides. But peptides also turn into collagen. It's kind of like a little cycle because peptides are amino acids. It's like three, four, five amino acids. This is a tripeptide that we've created so three chain um, peptide. And basically what peptides do is they promote your own body's making of 
collagen. So the little analogy I use, because I am obviously from America, though I'm an American Brit, I've got, you know, both, but uh, I am originally from America. I went to high school in America and I went to, uh, if you ever saw High School Musical, that was my high school basically without the singing and dancing in the halls. Um, I mean, really, we were the Wildcats. We were this huge school in, near Dallas. We were actually near some of the plantations, uh, the aloe, I'm sorry, we're not, we're not using that word anymore. It's more like aloe farms. So near some of the aloe farms, um, we, yeah, it was a great school, but basically, I'm, I'm making this a long story, basically in a, a football match, we would have pep squads and, and pep squads were the people, there's like two or three of them at a time. We would go along with the cheerleaders, you know, a huge team of cheerleaders, but we were the pep squad and we would sit there with their little pom-poms and just go, go team, go team, yay, go Wildcats. And we were promoting the team to win. And that's really what peptides do. There are these little groups that sit there and they promote collagen. And we need the collagen for that form and the structure in our skin. So here's some other things that it has. Um, uh, it's known, these peptides are known to combat progerin because as you age, sometimes bummer things happen, like you get more harmful proteins and progerin is a harmful protein that increases as you age. So it's known to combat that. Um, and then it's got hyaluronic acid. So another name and the name that we use in our ingredients is um, sodium hyaluronate. So if you see sodium hyaluronate in any of the ingredients, that is hyaluronic acid. It's a sodium salt that's what we can use topically, and it's a skin conditioner and it's a natural humectant. So it's going to help hydrate the skin. It's very light and let's see, it says fragrance free. Yes, it is lightweight. So I think there's a question about this. Oh, at what age do you start using the serum? That is a great question. Basically, when you see the signs of premature aging. So that could be someone who did a lot of um, tanning at 16, 17, and by the time they're 23, they start to see tiny fine lines and wrinkles. When you start to see the beginnings of the breakdown in your skin, this is the time to use a serum. So it really doesn't matter on your skin type, and I do encourage people, if they start to see signs of premature aging, to start incorporating this, even if you're using this, we'll go at the end, we'll talk about our two um, regimes that we have. Um, but uh, if you wanna, if you just do the Sonia, because you're 25 years old, but you're starting to see fine lines and wrinkles or just dryness, incorporate this in, and you would do it after cleansing, before a moisturizer, um, because it's, it doesn't have oil, so all skin types can use it. And they say with serums, it takes about 12 weeks for them, for it to really be noticeable. But um, this actually was in, when it was a good housekeeping, they did the top 30 serums, and this one actually got in the top eight and it was up against serums that cost like 300 pounds. So I was like, really? This is one of the cheapest serums, which was really interesting. Um, but a lot of them said, yeah, they noticed a huge difference in their fine lines and their wrinkles. And so let me see, would hydrating serum be the best thing? Okay to promote scar healing from major surgery. Well, we're gonna get into hydrating serum. We can't talk about conditions necessarily. That's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, yeah, so here's a, here's a good one. Black skins don't usually show fine lines. Can we use it regardless? I say yes. Every skin type is gonna be a little different, um, but you know, I, I actually, you know, I'm, you know, late forties and I don't have very many fine lines or wrinkles, but I am starting to notice just a little bit here and there, but I've been using the serum for about three years. And I, I honestly think with the serum, you're never too, it's never too young, you know, if you just start to see things. And so I personally find it's one of the best amazing products, but I'm quite biased. Um, but I've seen a lot of results uh, personally. So, okay, let's keep going. 
Um, I did have, which serum would you recommend for dark age spots? Actually, neither one of our serums are meant for necessarily age spots in terms of a brightness, so to speak. Um, that's going to be a little bit some other products. But I would say, um, yeah, I would say basically any signs of premature aging, which includes age spots. If you're going to want to help do some prevention and help bring hydration, this is the kind of thing that you're going to want to use. Okay, let's keep going here. Hydrating serum. All right, yay. This is a fantastic product. I was going to say raise your hand. This is where it's kind of a bummer doing a webinar because I'm like, I like a little interaction. If you've been using, I've been using this. Goodness. Well, I, okay, we're getting some people raising their hands. Yay, raise your hands. I, I, I really do love this product. Um, I got it a little before the FBOs did. Okay, everybody's raising their hand now. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, I got this before the FBOs. And I had about two weeks before everybody else started doing it. And I think my skin had been dry for a bit of a season when I started using it. And, and here's what I use because, because I am getting older, I use the infinite, but I do a bit of the Sony as well. I like the Sony cleanser and the infinite cleanser. So I kind of switch them up when the morning, when the evening, and then I do this, um, the infinite serum. Um, and then I add this after this, and then I do my infinite moisturizer. So I actually use two serums at a time and I found it's been really effective. And like I said, I used it for about two weeks before the FBOs even got it. And honestly, I'm so sold. Like it's now a part of my routine because I noticed where I had, my skin had been dry for just a, a period of time. Boom. It just went back to normal you know, and hydrated it. And so it was fantastic. Um, okay, so let's talk about it. I think there's a bit more here. Let me, um, I think, there we go. So here is the USP's unique selling points for hydrating serum. Um, there's four types of hyaluronic acid. What's the big deal about that? Well, like I said, remember when I mentioned just earlier, your most effective use of hyaluronic acid is when you actually layer it, when you start to research this ingredient, because you're just going to get more hydration. And the reason why they have different forms is they did different sizes of the sodium hyaluronate, which is, you know, the sodium solid hyaluronic acid. And they did different sizes, so it can go deeper into the skin or also sit on the skin. So what you're doing is you're doing kind of these layers of protection um, to help reduce water loss from getting out of the skin, but also protect the skin as well, um, giving it anti-pollution support, holding the water on the skin surface so that you get, it's drawing in water, you know. Um, but also you've got this, kind of chopped up, you know, um, hyaluronic acid as well. So it can go deeper and drench the skin on different layers of the skin. So that's why we've got four different types is because we are wanting as much of this power packed, most valuable player ingredient in and around your skin as possible. Um, now there's other uh, ingredients in this. We've got things like shea butter. I, I don't know if you've ever just tried shea butter by itself, but it just melts. I love shea butter actually. It just like melts right there on your skin. So it doesn't stay on your skin. It just melts into the skin. Uh, it's got olive oil. Um, so it's high in antioxidants. Um, and it's got several other, like mimosa bark, it's got several other high antioxidant um, ingredients as well. Um, and then it's got coconut fatty acids. So it will also, it's, so it does have oils in it, but it's got the right kind of oil. So you can use this for all skin types if you've got a dry patch. And that would be the thing is if you just have oily skin, this is probably not gonna be for you unless you get dry patches. And you will, when you have oily skin, if you get sun damage, you will get a dry patch or if you have some stress or whatever. So 
Uh, this is a fantastic product. Let me see if there's any questions about, oh, someone said, I look 30. Thank you. Thank you very much because I use forever products. I really do. Actually, I'm really, I feel like my, I've gone backwards a little bit since I've, I've been using the Infinite and the Sony together, but it, both of them since they've, you know, actually before they even came out on the market because I was able to do them um, before the FBOs. And so, yes, I love these. I love these skin care products. So, all right. I use this hydrating serum, like I said, every single day. And, and like I said, the older you get, it is all about hydration, all about hydration and moisture. So, okay, come on. Here we go. Balancing toner and, oh, see, look, now I've got the correct picture there. I don't know what happened. Okay, so this is another one of our products with a lot of hyaluronic acid. Now it's got a high concentration of aloe. Oops, sorry about that. Let me go back. Back. Yeah, technical difficulties. It's called me doing the slides. Okay, um, it's got a lot of aloe. So it's working in tandem with the aloe, but then it's got a lot of hyaluronic acid in it as well, which is just really hydrating um and cooling so what i love about our ba balancing toner is it's in the targeted range so you can use it for all skin types it can it is meant to complement um and you can use it for multi-purposes as well you can use it for that extra cleanse so if you do a cleanser and you're like you know what i've worn a lot of makeup today i just want to make sure i get it all off this is when i tend to use it or a lot of sun cream um, I get a cotton wool and I put on a cotton wool and I'll just use it to wipe off any excess. However, you can also just use it for refreshing. So if your skin is just feeling dry, it's feeling tight, it's feeling irritated, it's feeling unbalanced and you just want some refreshing, where you're gonna get the benefits of aloe and on your skin as well as the hyaluronic acid, you can just put it on. You can put it on your fingers, put it on your face, splash it on and leave it. You don't have to wash it off. So it also has things like cucumber in it, um, which contain lignans. And what I like about the toner is because it's got the aloe, because it's got the cucumber with all these lignans, you put it on and then you put on a moisturizer or the serums. It's going to help those go deeper into the skin than what they would do on their own because of all the lignin properties. So uh, this is a fantastic non-stripping. There's no alcohol in this toner and I absolutely love it. So let me see if, okay, no more questions for this one, fantastic. Okay, so let's go on to my favorite product. It really is my favorite, I'm not kidding. And now, which like I mentioned, it was so, I told Bob this yesterday, we had a, we had a, advisory board meeting and um I was talking about the holiday and I said you know what my family like it used to be like me and my daughter this is our thing you know hey let's go do our mask you know or hey if you're stressed you had exams you want a mask um pamper night but then I introduced my son and my husband I'm like oh crap now they're gonna use up all their masks and like my son he's like boys boyish most you know, whatever boy. And he's like, loves this, like loves the mask. And so anyhow, um, yes. And my, yeah, son and husband love it. So, okay. There's a question about the toner. Um, can the toner be used for combination skin or on skin that has, that's unbalanced, we'll say. Um, yes. The toner can be used on all skin types. In fact, we encourage it. It's not going to strip the skin, but it doesn't have oils and it's gonna hydrate the skin. In fact, it's probably gonna feel very soothing on unbalanced skin. So yes, you can use the toner on all skin types. And that's what I love about the four products that we're highlighting is it is all skin types that you can use. But let's get back to the Aloe Biocellus mask. Okay, so just a little bit about masks. There's three types of sheet masks. You got your basic level, and you got your uh, medium, kind of in between level that you see like at boots or whatever. Um, and then you have a premium science created mask and we are top tier. That's gonna be reflected in the price. However, it's also reflected in the quality. This is an incredibly high quality 
mask that is now award winning that won the Green Beauty Award silver um, against, I think, like I said, I think they said 300 um, other types of masks like this, which is a really big deal. Um, because it's, it is a, you know, you can throw this in your back garden when you're done. You know, this is an aloe created. So basically they take coconut water, they ferment it, they feed it aloe, they create this mask, and then they give it green tea and horse chestnut and, um, and sodium hyaluronic is in there. And so what they're doing is they, you know, there's not oils in this. Um, so all skin types can use this as well. In fact, I, my son who has unbalanced skin sometimes finds it very soothing. So S, okay, which one of these products has any SPH in them? I'm not sure what SPH is. I think you're thinking maybe SPF, like the sunscreen maybe, but none of these products have sunscreen in it. So, because that, that would probably involve that our sunscreen, it has zinc mineral oxide, which is, uh, yeah, it's a mineral that we use. And so, and you would have to have fats and that kind of thing to actually with an SPF. And so none of these have that, none of these have oils in it. So that's just, like I said, you just have to remember, this is all about hydration, 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 hydration. Um, yeah, so basically this mask, you take it, you, if you haven't tried it before, and I encourage you, get your mask for you, for your friends. This is like the best gift. I actually, I had a bunch of friends who did some stuff for me and I gave them a bottle of wine and a mask and they all love the mask. They got, they had to share the bottle of wine, but they couldn't share their mask because it was fun for them. And yeah, it's a fantastic gift. Um, but it is so wonderful, but basically you put it on, you know, and there's little eye slots. You can kind of cut the little eye slots off, but you can use that to put it on there. And usually, so here's the thing. Remember I talked about serums. I, because of all the wonderful power packed ingredients, remember there's less ingredients, but more of the ingredients in this mask. It's like putting a serum on your face for 20 minutes. So that's what's amazing about this is like this is a serum in a mask and there's usually a little bit extra and I put it on the ends of my hair or on a little dry patch. Um, and so basically this is a very versatile, um, amazing product. But also because it's biodegradable, so basically for the first 15 minutes, it sits on your face. And then after that, it begins to break down and actually go into your skin. And that aloe goes into your skin. And so I've actually had people who've worn this for two hours and they say it's mostly broken down. I don't know how you could do it for two hours. It's a long time, you know? I feel like I would have other things to do, you know, because this is like a mask, you know, when you wear it. So let me see if there's any questions here. And we have someone who didn't get to finish their question. Okay, they'll probably come back to this question. All right, so let's move on. Like I said, that is one of my favorite. This I, I really do think this is my favorite, like one off. Oh yeah, here we go. Soothes skin, reduces the appearance of redness. Actually, like I said, my son, who's he is fifteen, and yeah. Um, he really, he was like, mom, my skin feels so soft. This is amazing, you know, and it really does reduce and promote hydration, which is fantastic. So, okay, so serum question, can it be used on your hair like the old sunny serum? Sorry, forgot to ask earlier. That's a great question. Yes, you can. I think it depends on your skin type. I'm, I'm sorry, it depends on your hair. Like for me, I think it would make my hair a little too oily, except on the ends, and I have put some of the Sonia, uh, not Sonia Sam, the new hydrating serum a little bit on the ends. I think it's for you to experiment. Um, I also would say with the hydrating serum, I have found that if I have dry patches in other places, it's quite nice as well. So if you, you know, have a little funny place on your arm or whatever, put it on your arm because it's all about hydrating, but it does have some oils in it um that are meant for all skin types that you could do is the packaging bi biodegradable or just the mask only that is a great question i would say you know i have not even thought about that one um so i would say 
why don't you ask the head office? Good question. Um, and we'll see if we can get an answer for that one. I'm, I'm not thinking it is. I, I think they would say the, the uh, packaging was, I mean, obviously it's in a paper box, but like this little foily thing does not seem like that's biodegradable. That would be amazing, but I don't think it is. But that's a good question to ask head office. So I will leave that for them. Okay, next. Oh, every, every part. Now, I, is that every part of the mask? I think it's every part of the mask is compostable. Compostable, not the outside thing. So uh, ignore the ally activator. That was me who made the slide. That should be the toner, but there we go. Okay, so then don't forget your routine. These, all those products I just showed you are um, in, well, I mean, the serum is in the infinite, but all these are needs and preferences except for the serum that's in the infinite. And so, you know, you would use as and when, um, but with, like I said, it's just really important, especially if you're new to this, is to remember to have a routine. So in the morning and in the evening. And why do you have a routine? Is because you're going to cut down on signs of premature aging. You're going to keep your skin clean. Even when you sleep at night with the oils from your hair, um, get on your pillow. And so it's good to wash your face in the morning and in the evening. Um, you know, I think we think about it with when we have, you know, dirt and debris and makeup or sun cream or pollution, but I, I don't think we really think about it in the morning and, and it's just as important. Now, however, for somebody like me, you know, I'm like, uh, because I do take a shower in the morning, I actually put like the infinite in a little shower bottle type of thing and uh, use it in the shower. Um, and then I do my moisturizer. So, so we've got the two, let me just go through it quickly. So your Sony Daily Gel, system right there so new daily skincare is a gel based system meant for oily skin and combination skin you've got the refreshing gel cleanser which is kind of a stronger cleanser um that's a foamier cleanser um and i personally love it it's it yeah i use both um and then you've got your moisturizer which is a gel based moisturizer and so every skin type no matter if it's oily or dry needs a moisturizer uh, but this one is made for oily to combination skin. But I know people in their 70s who use the Sonia uh, Daily Gel Moisturizer, you know? And I know people who are 25 who use the Infinite uh, because their skin is drier. So it's all about skin type, those three skin types. And if you don't know about skin types, basically, if you're oily, you kind of know it. It's got that sheen. If you're dry, you know it. It's going to feel rough. It's going to feel tight. But if your combination, usually you don't know, and you go, what's my skin type? That's usually the question. And it's because our skin fluctuates and even normal skin fluctuates um, due to hormones, due to stress, due to, you know, if you go flying and air travel, that's gonna fluctuate your skin. So um, let me just see, there's a couple. We're gonna come back to these questions in a minute. Okay, so also in the sun and daily, you got the the illuminating gel, which is amazing. And this is a product that can be used for all skin types as well. Um, in fact, it's got some anti-aging benefits because it um, helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This is the product, you know, someone asked about age spots. This is the one that will help brighten and lighten the appearance of the skin. It's got things like licorice root in it. It's got red clover extract that helps reduce the appearance of pores. If you haven't tried it yet, I really encourage you to. Um, so I love it because it gives me a nice dewy glow when my skin is dry. But then it's really interesting because on oily skin, it gives it a nice matte glow, so to speak, instead of oily glow. But it gives it a nice um, matte because it reduces the appearance of pores. So, and then we've got another mask, which is our refining gel mask. And this is, again, it's for combination to oily skin. Um, and it helps to balance out the oils of your skin. It has that licorice root again, that, that botanical that is one of the most Googled botanicals right now because there's so many benefits. But it's all about balancing and normalizing. And you can wear this mask. Uh, it doesn't look like a mask. Actually, it's quite matte when you put it on. 
you can wear it uh, pretty consistently, you know, multiple times a week. Um, I actually know people who wear it every night. I'm like, great. Um, but you can do it multiple times a week and it's all about balancing your skin. And if it's a little, you know, if your skin's a little dry, you can actually add a moisturizer on top of it, which is quite nice. So our other routine is our infinite. And this is for maturing skin and drying skin because as your skin matures, it usually gets drier. So we have a kind of a, a little bit more milky mild cleanser in the hydrating cleanser right here. Um, and then we've got our infinite serum. Now I've added the hydrating serum as well. So I use that as well because it's all about hydration. And I encourage you, if you have dry skin, throw in the hydrating serum, which is fantastic. But I use them both. And people are like, well, do you give it time to dry? Eh, well, I don't really give that much time to dry. But um, you can, but I don't think you have to. So I do pretty much one right after the other. And then we have our infinite restoring cream or cream however you want to pronounce that, but basically has 15 potent skin conditioning ingredients, including, and it is potent. You're going to smell a woodsy, pungent smell that will go away within about two or three minutes when you put it on. But usually that woodsy smell is from Centipeda Cunninghamii, which is Centipeda Cunninghamii. I say that five times fast. Um, but that is an amazing botanical that helps actually not just reduce the appearance of wrinkles, but helps reduce the appearance of the depth of wrinkles. And it's known as the wonder weed in the beauty world. And so that includes that. And that's what that pungent or part of that pungent smell is, but it does go away. And to me, I love it. It smells woodsy. So, um, but this is all about moisture, moisture, moisture. There's a lot of different oils that are in this that are blended together. And then we have our only beauty supplement, which is our firming complex. And this has collagen in it. It's got biotin, which is great for your hair. Um, it's got French melon, which is known as a super antioxidant. And I talk about this in my skincare trainings about the need for antioxidants, but French melon is a super antioxidant. Um, so it's gonna help protect and balance out. So that is a part of the infinite. Then we got the Sonia and right in the middle is the targeted. And those are all these needs and preferences like exfoliators and toners. Um, and that kind of thing. So let me look at questions because there's one about exfoliators. Can you use, all right, here's a couple questions. So do you use a scrub and cleanser in your routine or you do just pick one? Now a scrub is a little different. Um, cleanser you use every day, twice a day, all right? And you're not going to do too much of that. A scrub, however, an exfoliator, and we've got two in our forever collection. Um, and so we've got our smoothing exfoliator and then our forever um, aloe scrub. A forever aloe scrub is gonna be a little bit more gentle in the sense of it's just jojoba beets uh, versus our smoothing exfoliator, which I love, actually has um, Korean bamboo extract in it as well. And so that's a little bit more of a scrub. I call it like sandpaper in a nice way, but it's not so much, well, it won't scratch your skin. Of course, there's nothing artificial like microbeads or anything like that in that. So it's all natural botanicals that are used for this exfoliation. And so you do a exfoliator only about two to three times a week. You don't want to overstimulate your skin. And that is something I find, especially with teenagers or those with oily skin, they tend to do it a little too much. And you don't want to do that. You only do it about two to three times, especially as you're own body's ability to exfoliate decreases as you age. So um, you would do a scrub on top of a cleanser two to three times a week, but you would do a cleanser twice a day in your routine. So here's another question. Can you use a Sonia mask after the biocellulose mask? Yes, you can. Hopefully, I'm going to do a webinar on our four masks and how you use them and how you can use them together. I would say do not use more than two masks at a time, more than two to three times a week. The reason being is because it can overstimulate your skin. However, I would say with the biocellulose, you're not gonna overstimulate your skin. It's just all about hydration. The Sonia mask could start to overstimulate your skin if you do a little too much, because it is all about trying to balance. Um, our other masks are ones that draw out, and so that does stimulate the skin. Um, so don't do that too much, but yes, you can use those together um, if you want to. So 
Okay, um, if a product can reduce the appearance of dark spots, would it affect the skin tone of South American or Indian skin? I honestly, because it's so natural and um, it's not like a harsh, because there are ones on High Street that have harsh chemicals that actually like bleach your skin, which uh, you know, I don't recommend because what you're doing is you're going in there and you're messing up what you call your acid mantle, which is the top layer of your skin and just those harsh chemicals that you can find on her high street are just not good overall. They might do something temporarily, but overall it's not good. Um, I really don't, don't think it's going to affect the skin tone and texture of your skin. If it's darker, I think it might help even it out slightly, but because they're all natural ingredients, it's going to probably take a long time and you'd have to use a whole lot of it. So um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Okay, someone says, I love the targeted smoothing exfoliator. I do too. I want to say a little something about the smoothing exfoliator is it's also great for a little spa day. So if you want to do it on your hands, I've actually like right here on the hands where you can start to get age spots. People, this is really, really good for a pamper party um, where people do it and they notice a difference instantly. And because it just, it just kind of evens out the skin tone and texture and it's really interesting, but also on your feet. So it's great if you're going to do a little spa day, you know, like let's exfoliate our, our rough feet. Um, so, okay. So what would you say is best for breakouts? A moisturizer, exfoliator. So I can't really say, sorry, we'll say unbalanced skin. That was not compliant. What would you say is best for non, um, for unbalanced skin? I would say you're gonna to wanna to go simple and you're gonna go light. Um, with exfoliating, yes, you can exfoliate, but I think just be careful of skin that's broken. Um, yeah, cause you just don't wanna overdo it. I would try to, you know, if your skin isn't really broken, you can do about two or three times a week, but don't overdo it. Like I said, I, I find with teenagers, they tend to overdo it. With a moisturizer, I'd recommend the Sonia moisturizer. That moisturizer is made for oily skin. So, um, and yeah, so that that's what I would recommend for those with unbalanced skin. So, okay, let's see what else we have. All right. Oh, got questions. There we go. So. Let's give it a minute. Give you a second to type in questions. See if there's any, but this is kind of it for this one. It was simple, but I just want to talk about, you know, what an amazing ingredient hyaluronic acid is. And honestly, I mean, I think there is a lower budget grocery store that actually has a whole line of, I'm not sure what kind of hyaluronic acid, I wouldn't trust that uh, line, but for something like for a store like that to have a whole line of hyaluronic acid products means this is a really important ingredient and you're gonna want more of this. Okay, is it okay to use a hydrating serum before the Sony gel moisturizer? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, I would say always use it before the moisturizer because you use the serums before moisturizers. I think a really terrible analogy I came up with and I can't think of any other better one, better ones is like when you do nail polish, and you've got a base coat because you've got ridges or whatever, you do the base coat and then you do the um, coat of color on top of it. That's kind of like how serum is. The serum is your base coat. You're gonna go in and you're filling in because you've got these great ingredients and it's preparing the way for those oils that are found in the moisturizer to go to the right places. So yes, it is okay. In fact, it's encouraged to use it with the Sonia Gel moisturizer. All right, any other questions? I have a fabulous thank you. Well, thank you back, Claire. Thank you for saying that. Um, any other questions? Because otherwise, we will wrap it up, I think. Going once, going twice. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, I love doing these, these are fun. I'm glad we could do these. And um, hopefully, if you guys, here's a thought, if you have any thoughts on like, what would be some good webinars? Because we're trying to do product webinars every Thursday. And if you have any good skincare ones, like 
like for example, I was talking to our marketing guys today and I said, you know, I really want to do one. I think we're going to be kind of promoting like self-care and all that. And, uh, and I think had, I think America might be doing kind of a whole thing on this in the next month or two. Um, I was like, you know, let's talk about the masks, you know? Um, oh yeah. What about skincare supplements? That would be good. Um, you know, I actually, in my training, cause we're doing, we're doing trainings online. I've been recording. Um, I go through, you know, what are some of the supplements besides our beauty supplements that's good for the skin? And I, and I do want to say, maybe to answer this question is the top vitamins for the skin are A, C, and E, ACE. You know, these are the top. Now there's other ones that you want, like B vitamins and biotin and all that. But if you're going to really get ones with um, A, C, and E, so look for that. So like even our Forever Daily, you know, it's great for it. Um, but yeah, the Firming Complex is our beauty supplement as well. Okay. Okay, foot care. Talking about foot care, that's a great one. Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, I have talked about it in other webinars, like a little bit or whatever. Teaching male FBOs about skincare. That's a good one. I mean, I think what we're gonna be doing um, is just, I'm gonna be doing some basic one. We do have a lot of new FBOs. We've actually really grown, like tons. Talking to Bob yesterday, we've just off the charts growth in these last few months, which is amazing. We have a lot of new FBOs, so I think we're gonna be doing some webinars just on the basics. Like what are our basic skincare so you're not overwhelmed? Um, yeah, but then there's also male skincare, you know, and kind of what options are out there. And then there's just general skincare. So that's a good one. Oh yeah, I know. There we go. What about a webinar covering some other skincare products like R3 Factor and Alpha E? Cause like Alpha E is like, oh, hero, you know, our, our skin vitamin, those. Um, that would be great. And then supplement range. Yeah, I agree. I think this is great that I'm saying all this because they're going to go over this in marketing, this webinar. Uh, they'll, they'll watch this. So when, hopefully marketing, you can hear all these great topics. Um, everything. Oh, wait, here we go. I am 51 and I've never had a skincare regime. You're in the right place. Great to know what and how I should be doing it. Okay, let's just answer this question. Um, so basically, if you were going to start around 51, I would go for the infinite. Um, you're going to find synergy in the set. Um, but I think if you're going to go basic, if you're like, uh, I don't have that much money, I need to just start with the basics, always have a cleanser and a moisturizer. After that, I'm going to do cleanser, serum, and I encourage you probably the infinite serum that we have, the firming serum, um, but then you can add a hydrating serum if you tend to have dry skin, and then your moisturizer. So your basic, basic, basics, just to start with, is going to be a cleanser and a moisturizer. Then in between, you would add a serum. Then on top of that, you've got your needs and preferences. So do you like a toner? Like for me, I like a toner here and there. I don't use it every single day, but just for the extra bit of cleanse. I use an exfoliator probably once or twice a week, you know, when I feel like I just need to get my new skin cells up and I just need a little help. And so, so really those are all, you know, and I'd encourage you if you're um, to watch one of our, some of our videos just on our skincare routines and everything. Cause I think there's a bunch out there that we have on our, uh, forever knowledge. Okay. Can we do one on the new hand cleanser? I'm sure we will. Cause we just got that hand cleanser and you know what? We are selling out of that. Not like selling out as in losing the products and we don't have them. We have tons of products actually. They can keep them coming, which is great, but we are just off the charts using getting that hand cleanser that's coming out which is really nice um okay men's skincare is quite the thing at the minute and the mask is great for your beards it's a funny thing the mask my husband he has a little goatee thing and he's like yes i'm going to put it on there yeah it is great maneuvering around beards that's another one okay 
And the difference between each range projects, like the original moisturizer, the Sony moisturizer. Yeah, so, so we do have several moisturizers and I have covered this in different webinars, but I don't know if they keep all of our webinars. So we're gonna have to keep coming back to them. So these are all great topics that we'd love to know what people are interested in and we can cover again. Why don't we stop it there? Call it a night. And thank you so much for joining me. It was lovely to have you. And hopefully this answer your questions on hyaluronic acid and how amazing it is. So get your mask, pamper yourself, get your hydrating serum, your firming serum, your toner, and let's have great skin. Thanks so much.